Hi there, my name's Simon, and in this episode of the Maserati Guy, we're gonna be reviewing the Audi A3. So I've just picked the Audi A3 out of the garage. I haven't done anything to it. No cleaning, as you can see, it looks a bit, a bit grotty. Um, but I thought I'd just take you for a little walk around it um, and give it a bit of a review. Uh, kind of tongue in cheek, really, but um, I hope you might enjoy it. Nonetheless, uh, this is our daily beater that gets uh, all the hard treatment, um, traveling the kids around and um, doing the shopping and all that kind of stuff. So it's very much a, a practical um, daily car it's not any kind of uh, garage queen at all so it's pretty rough but it's uh, it's interesting it's a good car and uh, yeah so I thought I'd just show you around it and uh, see what you think so the car is uh, finished in uh, volcano red I think was the uh, the name of the color when we bought it it's a uh, two liter um, turbo I think it's called the Sportback because it's like a kind of hatchback version with four doors. Um, nice design alloys there. Um, had a few scrapes, as you can see. Looks like that is uh, cracked just there as well. Nice um, glass sunroof on the top there. Uh, front panels are removing sunroof, the roof panels just to, uh, that lets extra light into the back. So as you can see, we have the slightly non-standard keychain here. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. Transverse mounted four cylinder turbo charged two liter engine, I think. Um, very reliable. Had a few coil pack issues, that's about the only thing we've had. Um, collects leaves like crazy down the sides here. It's just terrible. I don't know why it seems to do that, but wherever you park it, it just collects leaves. Nice collection there. Let's have a look at the collection the other side. Yep. Yep, interesting collection of leaves here. In the boot, that's the obligatory uh, hat on the back parcel shelf. Um, yeah, it's actually got quite a big boot, but um, none of it's available for use. Uh, so the less time we spend on that is probably the better. One of the things you do notice is that uh, every single 
um, storage space is completely full of stuff, uh, which makes for interesting driving experience because whenever you brake and accelerate, it kind of makes lots of rattles and bangs and horrible noises. So quite a nice interior, typical Audi quality there. Nice, uh, neat kind of uh, auxiliary wires here. Nicely, uh, nicely presented there. As you can see, it needs a very good clean and detail. Rear seat space is pretty good. Um, space for five. Oh, back of that seat is just uh, hanging off a bit there, which is not so great. I have to get that stuck. This is the uh, second um, kind of sunroof thing. It doesn't open, but it does have a blind across it like that, which is good. Nice quality. Nice quality, but it does get an absolute beating. So, driving the A3. It's actually not a bad little car. It's got a very good um, engine. It's a, I think it's a two liter turbo. It's quite zippy. It's got an S-Tronic gearbox, which is the Audi dual clutch gearbox, which is pretty smooth. Although I think the clutches are about to wear out because when you pull away from stationary and in first gear, it, it judders quite a bit. I think the air conditioning compressor is on the way out because it's Hear that whine coming from the from the compressor all the time. If you turn the if you turn the air conditioning off, it will actually stop that noise. So I think that's the air con compressor, which is on the way out. Um, the other thing it does, which is really annoying, is when you go downhill, it will automatically change up about four gears to try and slow you down. So like when we're going down this hill can see down this, as we're going down this hill, you can see it changes up and the revs kind of screamed as you, as you try and, as it tries and use the engine braking to try and, to try and slow you down, which is pretty annoying because it does it all the time and you can't stop it. The driving experience is, is pretty good really. The steering's, you know, nice and precise. Zippy enough for what you need around town. Oh, it's just typical Audi quality, really. Nice collection of rattles from the various um, things in the, the storage compartments here. Adds to the overall driving experience. Instruments are pretty clear. Oil warning light, no check engine light, that's good. The uh, wiper stalks and the indicator stalks are the exact same ones that are on my R8. And the steering wheel is essentially the same as what's on the R8 as well. Um, yeah, I reckon this camera has given up because the focusing is not working. Here's the uh, infotainment system. You've got a radio, FM, AM radio, you've got CD. Um, you do have an AUGS input, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the aircon, which is dual zone. You've got your S-Tronic gearbox. Um, your auxiliary port is in there. So yeah, the interior is not too bad. Um, nice quality leather all around, um, as you can see. 
large dual panel like panoramic sunroof with two um, blind screens on there that you can open up one on the back as well uh, sunroof so I hope you've enjoyed this little tongue-in-cheek look around the uh, Audi A3 it's actually a really nice car um, the Audi compacts they do make fantastic uh, cars you know they're um, the quality is, is evident even in, even in the lower range models and uh, so yeah it's an excellent car, uh, just needs a bit of TLC to bring it back to its former glory. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tongue in cheek review, uh, if you did enjoy it don't forget to give the like a click, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter actually at MaseratiGuy2017 and I'll see you in the next video.